So we're going to explain why a zero exponent equals one. Or in other words, we're going to prove how this would work. Now, we already learned a couple rules, which I know you guys know. You guys know the rule that when we have similar bases and we're multiplying, so multiplying powers, we just add them together. And the same idea is if we have similar bases and we're dividing them, we'll just subtract the two. Two exponents, okay? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to break up this power into two powers so that they would equal zero as an exponent. So in other words, what I'm talking about is we'll do this two different ways. We'll do it with multiplication, okay? And think about it. What I need to do is get two values that are going to be equal to zero in this case. So let's say we have base two uh, to the power of two multiplied by base two to the power of negative two. The reason I've chosen those two values, okay, on the side here, just to show you where they go, is we're going to end up with base two, two plus negative two. And what is two plus negative two going to be equal to? Zero. Okay, so we know that those are going to be the equivalent of zero. So let's kind of reverse that a little farther. We just learned about reciprocals when we have a power that's negative. So because base 2 is to the power of negative 2, how do I put this to a positive exponent? That's right. We're going to flip this. Okay? So we're left with 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 squared. Okay? Now, what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a little bit of multiplication. Think of it like this. We'll actually evaluate both of these and then go from there. So what is 2 to the power of 2 going to be equal to? Four. A lot of 2's there. 4, good. And what is 1 half to the power of 2 going to be equal to? 1 over 4. What is 4 times 1 over 4? 4 over 4, which is the equivalent of 1. Okay. So we showed that with multiplication. The same idea would have been true if we'd used that division rule. Okay. Let's say we use two values, 2 to the power of 2, divided by 2 to the power of 2. We know that that would give us 2 to the power of 2 minus 2, which would give us 2 to the power of 0. And we can equate both of these. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, over 2 to the power of 2 is 4, which is the equivalent of 1. So that's the reason that a 0 exponent is equal to 1. Think of it as if we're taking reciprocals of each other and dividing them. Okay? So that's our proof to why a zero exponent is equal to just a value of one. Of one.